Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about um, time. Do I really want to talk to you about time? Yeah, I do. I do. You know, because I know this whole Johnny Depp and um, Amber, whatever her name is, is happening. And the amount of time you guys give to entertainment, the amount of time you give to to that can be ours. But I've also recognized that some people are okay with that. Some people are okay with just giving up time. But if you're okay with giving up time like that, then you really can't fucking complain about the time you don't have to do shit. For some of you who are listening on the podcast that cannot see the visual here, I have a photo behind me of a gym. Why have a gym? So talk about time and what's behind me here. Um, you know, I'm going to be putting up something on TikTok as well. Um, and also on Lifestyle with Johnny on my YouTube channel. But you guys are going to probably hear it here first. You know, so and in January, I was weighing 305 pounds. As of today, today is May 18th, 2022. I weigh a um, 277 pounds, so I went down, right? So, yes, great trajectory. Could I, could, could I, could I be less? Yes. And because I've been inf infrequent, I've been really just dicking around by, by not going to the gym as much, um, maybe going once a week, um, you know, going twice a week and then, stopping for two weeks and then going back again. And I, I probably could maybe be 250 right about now. You know, probably be 20, 20, 20 pounds less or so. And it's because I haven't been giving myself my, just scheduling myself off the time. You know, so what I've done now is really looking holistically about my lifestyle. Hence, that's why I started the lifestyle with Johnny channel. Because it incorporates a number of things. It's just not, it's just not a regular vlog, right? I'm going to give some how-to and stuff like that. You're also going to see me struggle with shit and, and be honest and upfront with you because all we have left is time, right? So I started journaling. And I've always had books writing shit down. And I guess I've been journaling all my life just not knowing it. But this is more... I guess, focused and on purpose compared to what I was jotting down before. So I did some math and based off my age, I'm 44 years old. And I guess the average age of nine, and you can live up to 90 nowadays, right? I have about 16,790 days left. Perspective, right? When you put things in, in numbers like that, you say, damn. So what I, have I done with the other? 16,000 and change, maybe 17,000 and change of time. Has it all been wasted? And this is something we have to really figure out, right? It's like, I don't want to be a scorekeeper. I don't want to just focus on, on, on things and not have fun. We're here to have fun and do things and do the things we like. But we also have to support ourselves and support family if you do have a family and um have responsibilities but it's the time that we have or don't have or the time that we say we don't have you know you spend most of your time at work then you spend another depending on the person six to maybe seven six to eight hours of sleeping you know some people spend a half an, a day or some people work 12 hour shifts Ops, nurses people working in that warehouses and stuff like that and other occupations. So you work for 12 hours, you get home, you fucking, you know, about to crash within an hour or two after you wind down, then you're sleeping and then you back up again to the grind. And then no one says, hey, life shouldn't be this way. What well, life is this way? We made it this way. You know, everyone's chasing the fucking dollar. Everyone, you know, inflation is up. So 
people are trading their time for money. And that's what I do currently right now. I trade my time for money and I'm looking to, to change that, right? So right now I'm giving my time to create this podcast. I'm not sure how long the podcast is going to be, maybe 30 minutes or so, maybe 40 minutes, maybe an hour, but whatever time I decide to, to complete this podcast, right? When I have to give it to you, right? I have to record it, then I have to edit then I have to make some type of content to promote it. That all takes time. You know, so I've always been one to say, hey, you know, I'll remember things on the top of my head. Give it to me. And I'm telling you, man, that's, that's not the move. That really isn't. You know, we have these devices, right? We, we keep in our grasps all, of all, at all times. And... um we don't use it for, for its full potential. We use it to consume content. Um, but we don't use it to its full potential. There's mad apps out there that can help you organize yourself and things like that. I find myself to, I like to organize myself more on my iPad than my phone. And I still use, as you can see, I still use notebooks. I got some journaling in my, my, my notebook. It's actually a, not a notebook. There's actually an art book, eight and a half by eleven art book, with roughly I think two hundred pages in it. And this is why I journal. I don't journal every day. I, I, you know, you, you journal. There's a, a couple of things that I put down. Again, I don't want to go in different directions, but the this goes down to me writing things down. All right, so. I write down what I'm grateful for. I have a gratitude section. I have a self-development section. I have a manifesto section. I have a business section. And I write things down. It keeps me on point. It keeps me on purpose. And then I put down in the front of the book, you know, like on the, on the back of the cover and on the very first page, I have like quotations and stuff like this, right? So um, my wife told me this a few weeks ago and it, it hit me, and I know she loves me. There's no doubt about it. But to hear her say it really kind of just wowed me. And she said, you will be great. And this other context with what that phrase was, but she said, you will be great. And I was like, damn, baby, like that really touched me. I'm not sure she understands how much that touched me. I don't think I already told her. This conversation happened probably about maybe about a month ago or so. Next thing I have on here is every day counts. Because it does. Every day does count, right? Again, I have 16,790 days left. So every day counts. Only give a fuck to the things that matter. Repeat that. Only give a fuck to the things that matter. There's another one I have here. To be one with your thoughts is not insane. Not talking through your ideas can be your demise. I'll repeat that. To be one with your thoughts is not insane. Not talking through your ideas can be your demise. You have to put perspective into yourself. I don't think we give our... You know, we're so wrapped up in everyday life and we're just busy. We're not being constructive towards our life, we're just busy, right? We're just running around ragged. But we don't give ourselves time to really sit back and think and contemplate and play around with ideas and then come with, and again, come to a decision. You know, you're not, it is not dreaming, people. It is not about, oh, what if, what if, you know, if I did this? No, this is contemplating your next move, putting thought behind it. Taking the time to really manifest that thought and, and create that and, and, and really massage it and marinate it and say, okay, great. Well, damn, I didn't think about this. And just giving it different angles to come from and then putting it into action, right? I think too many times we just dream, but we're not in our thoughts. We're not really in we're ourselves thinking. Next phrase I have is the day you plant the seed, 
is not the day you eat the fruit. I've been trying to eat the fucking fruit before I plant any seed for so many fucking years. I, I'm just being straight up honest with you guys. I have ran around for years chasing things, chasing money, chasing dollars, chasing whatever. And nothing came of it because I was not focused on the real thing that would change my life. I was focused on just trying to chase money to change my life. And that concept now has changed. Now I'm, I'm, I'm working and doing things totally different that I have never done before. Like this journal piece that I have here, I actually just made an, an entire a budget spreadsheet. I've never budgeted. And you're saying how this forms into time. Well, I took the time out to create this budget spreadsheet. And if you guys want to see it, I can share it with you. Uh, let me know if you want to see it. I'll put a link below. Um, there's always going to be a link in the podcast. So all my, all my links. Um, but I, I, I never took the time out to really build and plant those seeds and let it sit. Like you, you have to let things take time to build. It takes seconds to fuck shit up seconds but it takes time to build that's the thing right it takes time to build stuff and you, you can't be super anxious you can't be impatient you have to let the process understand the process and i was building this budget spreadsheet it took me a few days because i didn't know how to use graphs i had to research that in youtube you know and this is on google sheets right so i'm doing this i'm looking at formulas don't know nothing about formula, but I had to teach myself that on YouTube. Like YouTube is my best friend on everything on YouTube. But then I'm like, yo, like this is decent. This is actually, you know, I have a savings, I have for investments, I have for a bill. I even put drop down, I put Hulu in there, you know, Netflix, everything in there. <laughs> I, I took the time out to create this. I took a, I took a, about a week for me to create it because again, I never really built nothing on Sheets, which is Sheets is Google's version of Excel. Um, I use Excel for work and stuff like that, but not in and not in this depth before. I read, I use simple just things in Excel. Um, and a lot of times I use Excel, things were already built into it. I just use it for reporting, but this was this is totally different. I built, and um, but I took the time out to it because it's important for me to get my finances in order, and that's where lifestyle with Johnny comes into play, right? It's about health and wellness. It's about mental health, right? Which is separate. And then I have finances in there as well. So I have a kind of that, that trifecta. I want to try to really work on what I start with Johnny. And I'm going to share with you guys what I'm doing, you know, and you have to really understand how to take advantage of your time. And if you don't, if you're unsure what you want to do, it's fine. Like my wife, she's in school right now. She just called me and she's taking charge of her life. You know, she won't be done until January of next year with school, but then that puts her in a place to garner a certain amount of dollars because she went to school for it, right? Um, and she's going some she's going through the medical field. So this is what it takes time, education. You know, there's many ways to get education without going to a formal school. But again, it comes down to time and what you be what you're willing to really use your time for. And because I put that number sixteen thousand um 16,790 days left has really impacted me now how I look at my days and how I spend time with my family and, and how much work. And honestly, guys, I've been, I've been putting in more time by adding more time to my day. And I've, I've been going to sleep every day at midnight and then waking up at 7 a.m. Sometimes even going to bed at 1 a.m. Once my family's asleep and you know, they don't need me to be there, then I'm working. I was building that, I was building that spreadsheet. And I was like, oh man. And, and when you complete something, it, it, it puts you into another mode. It puts you into another place. You just completed something and it makes you think, damn, I can do this. Let me look at my next project. So that's why I'm doing one thing at a time to build. Not multiple, just one thing at a time. 
Now I'm working on creating a digital journal. It's going to take me time to build that. I don't know where the fuck to start, but they're out there. I want one that I know that I would like to have. I'm going to build it myself and things that I want in it, right? You just have to do your thing. The information's out there. I'm not going to take too much of your time with this podcast. Keep it short and sweet. But I encourage you to journal. I encourage you to use your time wisely and go after what you want. But sit with your thoughts. Really manifest. And then put action behind it. Because if you're just daydreaming, nothing ever comes true. So. Peace out, guys. You guys have been fantastic. And look in the show notes as well.